Welcome back to Arx Fatalis. Alright, so we've just destroyed the meteor, and now we need to return to the Kingdom of Arx to figure out a way back to the Noden. Apparently it's very strange that I have not been called back to the Noden, because if this is what I was sent to do and I've just completed it, why have I not been retrieved? So let's go back and see what happens. I think there's going to be something waiting for me. Because I've been getting a lot of cutscenes on my way back, so I think something big is about to happen. Whoa. Shit. Yep, they've assaulted the castle. But who is they? The Ilsid? The Ilsids invaded the fortress, and Lord Lunshire has been locked up in prison. Save him! Save the kingdom! I knew it. The Ilsids. All right, you bastards. Come here. Would you like some chaos? Can I break it just like that? Oh shit, that's right. They explode! Did he? Did he knock my sword out of my hand? I do not yet have the skill to do that. To do what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh wait, no, that's his sword. Wait, where the hell is my sword? What the? Where did my sword go? What in the hell? Did it break? But I didn't even use it. That's my original sword, but I was using another one that I just recently found. What the fuck? Hold on. Yeah, there's my sword. Oh shit, its durability is one. You know, I don't think I've ever broken a sword before. I wasn't sure if it actually destroyed it or just made it unusable. Apparently it does actually literally destroy it. Okay. Well, in that case, let's put on this one. And apparently chaos is not enough to kill them. Two fireballs does do it, but let's... Try harm. Let's get like three harms stacked up. Come on. Holy shit. Holy shit. Jesus, they're fast and strong. Okay, harm is not enough. No. See, the Ratmen, it seemed like the harm would actually keep them away, like it would repel them. Because they didn't like the damage, but these guys, they do not give a shit. Feels good. I wonder if any of my other spells would be more efficient in terms of how much mana it takes to kill them. Could lower their armor. I don't know. Fireball seems generally like the best spell to use.
Could try trap. I'm kind of curious. I know it takes a lot of mana, though, to maintain that, but let's give it a shot. It's my room. <laughs> Still got the bloody chicken in it. Ugh. I do have a fake golden snake. There we go. Beautiful. What was simply a room has now become a home. Lord Lungire's place. Hmm. Well, he's in jail, so he's not going to catch me stealing his shit. So why the hell not? I can't do that. Wait, you can't do it. That's not possible. Oh. Shit. A door is curiously locked. I don't feel like using Bless again. There you go. Hello. There's always stuff hidden under other stuff. A key to what? There you go. Question answered. Another bejeweled longsword of extra damage. These things are everywhere. And some tools. Sweet. The secrets hiding up above? Nope. I'm such an opportunist. I'm taking the fact that the castle was assaulted and everybody's dead or in jail or whatever. And I'm using that opportunity to steal from everybody. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. Not really a very successful attempt. There you go. I can guess what that key's for. Let's have some wine. Have a pie? Hmm. They'll never know anything happened. They'll be, they won't suspect a thing when they come back to their room. Not a thing. A couple things I can sell. Cool. Ah, yeah, fallen, Phelan Orbaplex. It's already been well explored. <laughs> Felnor. Hey, footsteps. There you go. No, don't. There we go. That's it? Just a ring of general protection? When the king is away, I shall sit in his throne. Yes. One day, it will be mine.
Don't ask. And this is back to the start. Alright, so there's one door left up here. do that. Oh. Okay, let's go fight some more assholes. And I want to try my trap. Come on. What the? Are you no, come here. It's gonna run out. Come here. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa. I think I just found my new fireball. If I can get them to come across that quickly, that's actually going to use far less mana. Let's queue a couple more of those up, shall we? No room. My god, I have so much. I have so much stuff. All of these spells alone are probably worth more than 5,000 gold. And I already have 17,000. Can I just buy this castle? Hey, how's it going? Shit. Uh. Yeah, trap is kind of amazing. As long as you don't leave it up for a long time. Okay, I believe the jail. Hello. I believe the jail is that way. Let's see if I can kill, uh, finish him off. Jesus, they're fast. <laughs> oh! oh my God. Ah! All right, fuck that, fuck that, die. Guard sleeping quarters. Why the hell is this locked? Did they lock them in? Let me first make sure I don't have a key. I can't do that. All right, the lunch hour should be somewhere down here. Man, if I had to fight these guys with melee, I would be so screwed. Even if I was wearing heavy armor, they'd still do so much damage to me. That's not possible. This wasn't locked before. Wait, this might be the observatory. It is. Okay, this is the wrong way. Oh, wow. It's actually not locked. I would use uh, speed, but I really need my mana. Hmm. It's probably not too hard, right? There you go. Cool. There you go. Ooh. Why, why would you keep a cursed ring? I don't understand why anybody would have a cursed ring.
Oh god, I don't even have one slot left? Shit. Alright. Let's dump some stuff that I really don't need, like plants. There you go. <laughs> Perfectly normal stack of ferns. Uh, I probably don't need this piece of wood. I don't foresee myself coming across any levers that need a handle anytime soon. Well, actually, if it didn't have a handle, then it wouldn't really be a lever, would it? Hmm. What came first? The lever or the egg? Jail must be this way. I hear the footsteps of my foes. That is a secret passageway. I don't think I've ever gone into this while recording, but I have gone through this while well, not recording when I was just kind of looking for stuff. I don't think it serves any practical purpose, though. It just seems to kind of loop around. And that's about it. Trapped to get rid of you, um, Shigar. What the hell just happened? As soon as I found out their plan, I knew I couldn't let them do it, my friend. Thank you, but where is the king? Iserbius doesn't give a shit about the king. If the king is alive, he's in hiding. He's probably holed up with the rest of his people in the guard room. Ah, I'm beginning to understand why the Ilsids did not kill all the humans in the kingdom. That would be madness. Akbar's hungry, and his Serbius saves some of them as a supply of fresh meat for his master. Akbar will eat every last one if he gets the chance. Koltar, what brought you to work for the Ilsids and his Serbius? When I got out of jail, it seemed like a good idea. A Serbius is very persuasive, you know, and he's got big ideas. He wants to bring the sun back to Ox and get all the humans out of these rat-infested caves. For someone like me, who has been outside, that sort of plan makes perfect sense. Now get out of here, quick. <laughs> what? Use the sewers. I'll make something up to tell the others. I, I don't know what the fuck just happened. That cutscene was so strange. I don't know if it just completely bugged out, or if it's just plain weird. Like, the camera zoomed in and just, like, focused on the wall for a second, and then... Uh, I don't... What even just happened? I was so flabbergasted by how strange everything was, I didn't even pay attention to what the hell he was saying. So he's working for the Ilsids, but he helped me, or something? He joined them because it was... it seemed like a good idea? Uh, okay. Cool. Holy shit. This armor is amazing. Holy shit. Am I... Am I at, like, the end of the game? It's almost like they just handed me... OP armor. You know, the, the thing games sometimes do where they just hand you the best stuff because they know you're gonna be fighting the boss or whatever? I, I feel like this is that. Look at this. 30 armor for the leggings, compared to my 5. No requirements whatsoever, and it actually gives me 2 strength. 
The only bad thing about it is it totally ruins my stealth, but I don't care. My stealth is already terrible. It's gonna make me, like, invincible. And the chest piece gives me 38 and 3 strength. I could use any weapon I want. Uh, well, hmm. Actually, no, never mind. Maybe not. That'd give me the strength to use it, but probably not the close combat skill. Although I think strength actually increases close combat, doesn't it? It does. Well, jeez, I look weird. <laughs> I look really weird. Let's put the top on. Yeah. Now I can barely Guardian, see. Guardian, I know oh. you can hear me, for you wear the armor of one of my fold. The traitor Kultar saved you this time. You are in luck, Guardian, but it will not last. Nothing in Ark can stop the coming of my master. It's already too late. Akba and I are almost there. Okay. What? Anyway. Uh, that was strange. I look like a little old granny trying to peer over the tip of the steering wheel. I can barely see. Armor class is 87. Does that mean I absorb uh, absorb 87% of damage or something like that? Or maybe it's probably not percent, it's probably actual damage, right? Like you absorb 87 damage from every attack or something? I don't know, whatever it is, it's a lot. And my close combat has now gone from, I believe, 40 up to 50. Uh, 50 which is kind of amazing. Holy crap. Between this armor and this shield, which already protects me from magic by plus 20%, this is plus 20%, <laughs> my protection from magic is 73, and my armor class is 87. I feel like I'm just invincible at this point. Alright, stitch the rope. I want some more room. See, these things are probably worth a lot, but I don't really need money, so who cares? My shovel. Let me auto sword. There we go. Don't need the shield. <laughs> Just a pile of poisoned weapons here. Alright, is there a new sword I can use? Now that I have so much damn strength. I wonder if the shops would be open given what's just happened. Not that I can actually go out there at the moment, because I can't. Yeah, I can't use these. I don't have the close combat skill. Yeah, despite my strength, I think the my relatively low close combat skill is actually going to keep me from being able to use these. Alright. Let's go. Incompetence! The Guardian has escaped! Leave this pathetic kingdom to the humans, and return to our refuge immediately! Uh... what? <laughs> okay. And everybody's... cool. Apparently. Town seems fine. Guards are still lazily walking about. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to see if I can find a way to get back to the Noden. Alright, All right, so I just escaped the fortress, but now I'm supposed to go back to the fortress, right? Because Lunchires probably hold up in the guardroom, right? So did I leave just to come back? Okay, everything's back to normal. Hi guys. Normal day, huh? It is nice to see you, Guardian. Well, I wish I could see you, but unfortunately I can't see over my armor. Ah, sitting on my gold bar, keeping it warm for me, huh? Many thanks, Amshagar. You have saved the kingdom. We shall be eternally grateful to you. 
I have destroyed the meteor in the temple of Akba. I am afraid that this will not be enough to stop Akba from coming to Arx. But that is impossible. That meteor was his energy channel. What you have done was indispensable in weakening Akba. But according to my estimations, Akba has had time to gather enough energy to attempt to incarnate here on Arx. I believe Acerbius has a secret den where he is preparing to invoke Akba and offer his body as vessel for the incarnation. How can we prevent this from happening? We can't. The only way would have been to kill him before this fusion took place. It will take him some time to channel the immense energy of Akba, but during this process, he will be immune to most weapons. You will need the most powerful of all the Eldritch weapons in existence to confront this abomination and destroy the link between Acerbius and Akba. Where can I find this weapon? I'm afraid no such weapon exists. You must have one forged for this specific purpose. There is a book called The Theory of the Ultimate Weapon, which explains how to create such a weapon. You will need it. I will act as quickly as possible. <laughs> I love the storytelling in this game. Everything, the writing, the voice acting, is just so hilariously weird and awkward. Like, I don't know what happened with that guy that I had met back uh, when we first got out of Goblin Jail. And he was with the Ilsids, but then he helped me, and then he gave me his armor, and then I took the armor, and then a voice talked to me, and then I went down a hole, and then everyone was like, Hey, he went down a hole, we've been defeated, let's leave! And then I need to go back to the place I just left? And then, what the fuck? This is so weird. Alright, well, I do actually have that book, and uh, I actually remember reading it, but I didn't read it very closely. Oh, in fact, I actually have it on me. I thought it was in my store of books, but nope, it's right here. Okay. Apparently I have to forge this. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just noticed something. Do you hear what I hear? Not the coughing of the guards. Yes, new movement sounds because of the new armor. Remember when I first put, uh, first put on, like, chainmail? You could hear the clinking of it as I walked? This armor has a different sound. Awesome. Alright. I have traveled far and wide throughout many lands in search of the ultimate weapon. I spent much of my youth striving towards this goal, but my energies were wasted until one day I realized that all my efforts were in vain. In vain, because the only way to find the ultimate weapon is to create it. To make such a weapon, you must seek out the finest metal, forged in the finest forge, then magically enhanced with the finest spell there is. It is very important to select the finest metal, not only because it determines the keenness of the blade and its strength but because it must also be capable of receiving and therefore storing a large amount of magical energy. Additionally, the weight of the metal will determine the maneuverability of the weapon and the efficiency of its thrust and penetration. Most people use iron to forge their weapons because iron is the most readily available metal, but the finest metal known to us today, and in my mind the only one to use if one is to create the ultimate weapon, is mithril, the hardest and most resistant metal ever discovered. It can also produce the finest alloy if it is mixed with another element. However, the element you mix must be chosen with care, and only the rarest materials, which carry an intrinsic magical value within their very essence, must be used. Unfortunately, mithril, which is a vital component, is almost impossible to find. Nevertheless, if it was possible to locate a piece of this fantastic metal, the next step is to take it to the very best blacksmith and ask him to forge the very best, finest weapon. I will not enter into lengthy philosophical debates, but will give you my clear opinion. To my mind, the finest blacksmith in the world are dwarves. I really need to get some 
Their whole tradition is based on working stone and metal, and they have mastered their art to such a degree that even the tools they use to perform their craft are far and away superior to those of any other race. They are the only ones capable of creating in their forges the sharpest and most lethal weapons in existence. The forge is an important stage, for the moment it is complete, the weapon must be able to absorb the first magical spell cast on it, and conserve the spell within it for all eternity. I'm going to walk backwards now because the guards are coughing and it's annoying and this is apparently a very long book. Let's hope their coughs do not travel to this corner. Oh no, it seems they do. Indeed, the final stage is the enchantment of the weapon. Many things can magically improve a weapon. The key is in choosing the element the weapon should bind with at the moment of its enchantment. Let me give you some of the best known enchantments. enchantments. The quality of the weapon, however, ultimately depends more on the metal chosen and the forge used than on the element it is combined with. Here are a few examples, but note that once a weapon has an enchantment, you can't change it. Okay, this stuff I've already read. I remember reading about Amakar's Rock and all that stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Alright, so basically what I extracted from that is I need Mithril, which I don't have, and I need to take it to the dwarves, which I believe are actually on level... Eight. Because remember, when I just briefly visited there, I saw a sign that says something about dwarves. Which is also, coincidentally, where the Lava Island is for the next part of the clue, of the treasure hunt. Hell, perhaps the treasure hunt is actually for the Mithril, for all I know. Although that seems unlikely. Given how easy it is to actually miss the treasure hunt, if you actually... If they actually required you to complete the treasure hunt, to complete the main uh, game, that would be potentially very frustrating. Okay. Says I should make a weapon out of mithril, as it is the only metal that will meld with strange alloys, such as cult powder. I hope this is true. Alright, it doesn't specifically mention it, but yeah, I definitely have to go to the lowest level. But before that, I think I need to manage my explosion of an inventory. But, first, I'm gonna go see if the, um, uh, shit, what's her name? Get out of my way, please. Yes, her. I, I want to go see, see if she has any thoughts about the fact that I just murdered all of her kind. Could make things a little bit awkward. Hi. I seek a book called The Theory of the Ultimate Weapon. <laughs> I already have it. I'm sorry, um, Shadar. You won't find that tome here. To find it, you must visit the library held by my sister. Oh, do I? I, uh, I maybe already did. Um, the sisters were quite, they were quite pleasant. They were very welcoming. Yes. <clears throat> I've got so many books. Okay, I'm going to manage my inventory, sell a bunch of stuff, and probably buy some stuff as well, and probably repair some things too. So I'll be right back. Okay, I sold pretty much everything. Um. <clears throat> okay, I sold pretty much everything that I did not need. Like usual, there's a couple things I just missed, like the diamonds and Oops. and whatnot, but uh, I've got it down to pretty much one page, so I've got almost two full pages of storage space completely free. And I made so much money that now I'm up to 34,000. I looked at all the stores for anything I could buy. Anything. Even the smallest thing that could have the smallest benefit of any sort, and I couldn't find a single thing. Couldn't find any tools. Uh, couldn't find any torches. I am completely rich, and yet I literally can't think of a single thing to buy. I wish I could, like, donate my money to a, a charity or something. 
help some starving kids. I just have nothing to do with it. I even look for new armor, because, I mean, obviously, uh, my main pieces are better than anything I could ever possibly find, but I was thinking maybe I could buy a new helmet, right? Because my strength is so high at this point, I could probably wear the super heavy stuff. But it turns out I'm already wearing the best damn helmet that I can possibly buy. It's a mithril helmet. I mean, I'm looking for a uh, mithril to forge a sword out of. So this mithril helmet is actually incredibly good. Even the heavy armor helmet had far less armor uh, armor class than this little kind of chainmail helmet. Obviously my my shield is incredibly good. Couldn't find a new sword, that was better. Um, I did find a double-handed axe that does more damage. I think it's like 12 points of damage instead of 7 like this one does, but... Um, it didn't have any bonuses to stats. Oh, I know what I forgot. So, no plus one strength, constitution, and armor class like this one does. And since I don't really use my swords to actually kill anything other than, like, rats, I really just want the sword mostly just for the stats, like for the bonuses, rather than pure damage. So, yeah, I can't find anything to buy, strangely enough. Never thought I'd say that, but I cannot find anything to buy. <coughs> I have tons of money and nothing to spend it on. Alright, well... I think I'm going to end this episode here, but in the next one I suppose I'll go down to level 8. And search for the dwarves, search for mithril. And also follow up on the clue, the next clue to the treasure hunt. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.